Chris, congratulations. You're set to make your second test match appearance in the first Ashes test at Trent Bridge. Um, what was the luck have you got not? Yeah, pretty exciting. Um, you know, hopeful that I was going to play in the first test. So when when uh, Darren came and, and, and said that, you know, I was going to open, that was a, you know, it was a good moment and uh, very satisfied that I get that opportunity, but um, very privileged as well. So when you got picked in the squad initially, um, did you think that you were certain to play or did you just think maybe you were in the squad to, to lend some of your experience to the rest of the team? Uh, no, I was pretty hopeful of playing. I, I didn't feel like they were going to pick a, an older guy to, to come and get experience, I, I guess. So, um, yeah, I, I think um, there's a there's a, a good role for me to play in, in this series and hopefully I can start well and, and, and really build into it. Um, I mean, what do you bring to the team? You know, you've got a buckle out of experience both here and abroad. Um, it must be uh, something that you can help help contribute to the team. Yeah, I think you answered the question, but um, <laughs> but no, I mean, I hopefully I can bring some experience and maybe a calm head. You know, I've I guess I've been around the, for a while now, so um, have a little bit of experience over here. So yeah, hopefully I can I can lead from the front and really really set the the game up for us. Um, what can we experience, expect to experience at Trent Bridge? You played there plenty of times. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a wicket that uh, offers a bit of assistance to the quicks. I think there's always a little bit of bit of seam in there, but equally so, it's a um, it's a fast outfield and 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 can be a high scoring ground if you, if you can get in. But um, you know, the the job is really uh, at the beginning you're in is as a, as a batsman, so um, it's going to be a, a big challenge. But um, you know, if we do well at the top, then I think we can really capitalise on it. Man, through your career, your um, your technique changes the more you learn about cricket. What have you picked up playing? Yeah, I mean it's it's different over here. The the Duke's ball uh, uh, makes it a little bit harder at times, particularly early on in innings. It, it it tends to to swing and seam a bit more, so you really have to watch it, um, particularly that last meter. So um, just playing as late as possible and 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 being in control of your of your shot really. But um, you know it is fast scoring over here, so if you get in, you know you can go and get big scores. So the challenge will be early, but. But definitely, if we can, we'll cash in. I know we, we talked about it earlier today, but um, had you given up hope? I mean, it's tough when you go out there and continue to score runs upon runs upon runs. I mean, you're the only other guy that scored three hundreds in the first class um, competition in Australia last year was Ricky Ponting. So, um, did you think that you know just keep making runs and the door might always be open? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's been times where it's been pretty difficult, but. You know, I, I love I love the game. I love my life, um, and I'm I'm highly competitive. So, you know, I like to go out and do as, as well as I can. And I just felt if if I could keep my standards um, high and, and and score more runs than anybody else, then um, you know maybe one day it'll be impossible to ignore. So, it seems to have come around that way. And and uh, you know, I've got I've got nothing to lose here. Um, I can just go out and 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 fight as hard as possible. And and as I said, hopefully do a really good job for Australia. What's it been like being amongst the Australian squad again? Yeah, fantastic. Um, um, the guys have been, you know, particularly good to me. Uh, I'm very welcoming, and I, I think, um, I mean, I, I wasn't really a part of the, you know, the squad under Mickey, but um, it seems a, a nice, relaxed environment under under Darren, and, and um, he's brought a lot of calmness. So um, yeah, it's been enjoyable, and and. You know, it's going to be important that we that we play well, and if, if we do that, then it'll be a good place to be around, no doubt. Can you touch on um, a bit, bit more about Darren uh, as a coach? I know you've only been in, with him for a week, but has he um, given you any more insight in the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean, he's. I guess for me, there's um, there's not a lot of coaches who who've had more experience than than I have, so. Um, Sometimes it's hard to learn from from some of them, but with Darren, you know, he 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 brings that um, that package as well, you know, and and that's that's great for someone like me, you know, because you you you're always learning in this game, and 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 to have a legend like uh, Lehman who scored loads of runs in games that I played against him, um, yeah, is is fantastic, and for everyone um, and me also. I was going to say, I mean, he's probably one of the other few guys that have scored more domestic runs than you. Um, at the same age, so uh, great leader to, to have around. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was a different player to me. He was a bit of a freak, to be honest. Um, 
I, I saw him score a, a, a 300 and in his last two games he, he got 130 not out in a one day game against us and, uh, and then 150 in the four day game the following game so he got carried off both games as well but um, yeah he's an amazing player and, and, and not only that he's, his personality you know makes it a, a relaxed calm environment off the field and then you know a very competitive one on the field and I think that's important for us. Um, your first test was a number of years ago now. Can you remember what that was like and you know how much you've learned since then? Yeah, I mean, I guess people say it's a, it's, it's a bit of a blur, your first test, and it was. I, I just remember the intensity being, you know, something that I'd never experienced. But I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm lucky I've had that now, so it's, it's out of the way. I can, I can get on and, and, and really focus on my job and not worry about um, exterior things, but um, external things. But, yeah, I, it, it's, it was a long time ago, and, and you know, I think I'm a... I'm a I'm a better player now, I'm in, a, in a, a better position, so hopefully I can make this opportunity count. So, I'm not 100% across this, but um, wear glasses, and are you colourblind as well? I am, yeah, short-sighted and colourblind, yeah, have red hair, so yeah, great combination. <laughs> so, I mean, does that mean you have to concentrate even harder on the ball? I mean, I guess you don't really know any different. No, I mean, I guess my eyes have been an issue at times, but it's something I've grown up with, so I've had to adapt. Um, Sometimes at uh, at the smaller grounds with trees in the background can be can be pretty difficult, or even things like green seats. But um, you just get used to it, I think, and and there hasn't been too many issues. Uh, the English team you played against them uh, at different levels um, throughout your career. Who are we gonna look out for? Yeah, I, I don't think it's any secret. Um, you know, I think their bowling attack all round is is fantastic, and 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 in in Anderson and Swad, you know, they've got you know, two two real leaders of the of, of world cricket. Um, but saying that, you know, Broads can be on his day. He can be um, a handful, and 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 Finney. I've seen Finney bowl some amazing spells. So that's going to be a challenge for us. But um, you know, it's not impossible by any means. And 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 their batters, you know, well, you know, they've shown over the last few years that they're they're solid and and they've got real weapons. But I just think it means that as a team, we're going to have to play. Play well collectively, and 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 individuals have to stand up. And if we do that, I think we'll be hard to beat. Is there anyone in our squad that you've been particularly surprised with, or someone that you've just gone that you've seen up close and gone, wow, this guy's got something else? Yeah, I mean, I I, I watched um, my new opening batsman um, part, partner um, bat, and I think he's an exceptional talent. You know, to to be able to hit the ball the way he does. Um, you know, very few people can in Shane Watson. So I'm expecting big things from him. I, I, he seems in a very happy place and his, his game looks in, in good order. Um, and hopefully him and I can work well together. But um, apart from that, I think, you know, with the ball, we've got we've got a good attack. And if Starkey gets it to swing, he'll be dangerous. Jimmy Pattinson's a, you know, he's a fantastic athlete. Um, and the other one I think is Ryan Harris. So I think he's a... You know, but from playing against him, I think he's world class. So, if he plays a lot for us and plays well, then he's going to make a difference. You talked about your new opening partner, Shane Watson. There, he's an attacking batsman. You probably saw sort of noted as a more of a defensive player. With all due respect, um, how do you guys? How do you see you two working together? Well, I think it's a good thing. I think it's you know he's a he's a tall right hander and I'm a short left hander. So, um, you know, it gives it gives a little bit of balance as well. Um, uh, aggressive and defensive, and, and and makes the the bowlers you know change their their lines and their length. So um, if we bat well together, you know I think we will score runs at a at a, at a decent rate, and then the pressure is going to be back on England. And, and not only that, I think it, you know it'll import it's important for us that we set the middle order up because you know they they're they're aggressive players, and and if they're in at the right time, then you know we can really get on top of England. And finally. Um, you're going to be at the crease watching uh, watching the bowler come in for your first ball. What's the um, what's the one thing you're going to be thinking of going through your head? Um, I have a couple of a couple of rituals I, I'll, I'll keep to myself, but um, yeah, I mean it's it's just a it's just going to be pretty simple. I think that's going to be the thing is to try and block out all the other things that are going on and just just focus on what's coming down at me. Um, so if I do that. Like I have done for for the whole of my career, then you know I think I'll be okay.